Shalal is an arts charity based in Cornwall. It particularly wants to make the arts accessible to everybody and to work with equity with people, not just with equality. Equity is making the effort to get that person in an equal position, to give that joy and freedom of expression into people's lives. And we find that that also brings a great sense of community. Crez and Kerno said they'd like to work with us. And then they said about this recent project and it just sounded very exciting. Within one of our artistic meetings, we told everybody we were working on the Ordinalia, so it went out across the whole of Chilau, which is from Liscard down to Land's End, which is great. So everybody had the opportunity to work on it and think about it and think about homecoming. My understanding of the Ordinalia is you've got the miracle plays, creation, the passion and the resurrection, and they were put on to be uh, accessible to local people. I think I hoped that we would get something that was really rooted in Cornwall because it's a really Cornish project and it's so much bigger than we are. That we just give people this sort of, you know, this is the Ordinalia, here are the miracle plays, this is the, some of the history of the Cornish language. And then to, in, in the summer months in Falmouth in Penzance, the groups are going to sort of um, concentrate and focus on it. And then when we come back, we've only got a couple of weeks before we do it. I'm always really impressed with how everybody runs with the ideas. My name is Mary Ann Bloomfield. I'm the producer for St Just Ordinalia 2021. Uh, we did the place before, from 2000 to 2004. Is this Moses here? Moses. Ah. 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 These are hairy devils. Ah. 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 Ambition has always been to do all three plays again as a trilogy, so that you see all three plays um, and the lovely thing about that is each play is really different and it tells a different story and it has a different emotional response. Because to me, theatre has to touch you, theatre has to make you feel something. They might be religious plays, but these aren't just, for, they're people of all faiths and people of uh, secular, it doesn't matter to us. This is an original plain and quarry. There would have been about 50, they reckon, maybe more across the whole of Cornwall. And there's only two left. And it's this one and Perrin Round near Perrinport. Perrin Round is lovely. It's in the middle of nowhere. We're so lucky ours in the, is in the middle of the town. People would have been sat here in the 1400s watching the plays in the very same place where audience will sit and watch the plays for, this, for these performances. And every time it looked like it was going to disappear, something would happen to go, no, oi, no, that's our plane of glory. And also, the plays became outlawed because it became illegal to worship in a foreign language and Cornish was looked upon as a foreign language. The ordinary would have been a man of the church, he would have had the scripts and he would have directed people and he would have gone, Oi Tamsin, you're on now, only oh, you're in a posh voice, not in my voice. Tamsin, you're on now and um, you're being Noah and um, can you be Moses? And so all that sort of thing. And he would have directed people, Oh, you're on now, you've missed your cue. <laughs> all that. Um, just to... Mary Ann um, um, talked about the restoration and the Christ thing. Um, that was really interesting for me because I'm a theatrical person and um, it's the way she um, talked about that and Really, it's just things that um, are interested in um, um, in the music aspect and the um, um, 
the passion of it as well and I thought it was really uh, fantastic and I like I like to be a part of that experience so yeah it looks amazing doesn't it and yeah, partic particularly like this stuff like when you've got the tree over there and I'm, I'm actually wondering if it lights up because there's a few I, I noticed a few wires when I was walking past it and that so it looks like it it looks like it lights up but they have to do it in the dark or something and... little like you like you and like you little monster <laughs> inspiring and um, informative visit to the Plan and Gwari playing place. So yeah, we're really looking forward to going and seeing the plays now. So, and then and also looking forward and going back and putting our own thing together. People came up with some wonderful ideas, a lot of writing, just inspiration that we're going to use to, um, to work with. And we're kind of interpreting the ordinalia in our own way. the artwork that's being done. What, we're, what we've produced in the way of just experimenting. I think it's, it's a playful experiment, so I think people really enjoyed that, just playing around with those ideas. So that, because I remember this one, was you saying your favourite place at the Planning Quarry? Yeah. Was that blue castle? One of the things, which is this, isn't that blue? Did you do this from, from memory or did you have a photo? Just in memory. From memory? That's really cool. I, I, I'm normally good at remembering things. To do it in those spaces, um, I'm so used to the traditional sort of way of performing on a stage, but actually having that round space kind of really brings in the audience in with the, with the, with the performers, which is really nice. I'll sing to you, you can relax in a minute. So, can I just ask any questions? Anybody got any obvious questions that you can't just do one to one or anything? Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah. The love and thank you to those bits of our bodies that are enabling us to do it today. Nice deep breathing in and out. So a little bit of discipline, keep yourself focused, and supporting the other dancers before the show, and then you can have a great time with everybody after the show.
Oh.